Okay, hello and um, welcome viewers. We're here at the uh, Venmotive Research Garage. And today we're gonna to be working on our shop car. So like all garages, we have one and ours is this 10, 15 year old electric golf cart. Um, it gen Normally it's powered by six eight volt lead acid batteries to get 48 volts. Uh, the batteries that are in it now have been in it as long as we've owned it and we've had it at least five or six years and they were used when we bought it, so it's time to put a new battery in. And we've decided rather than putting in more lead acid batteries and dealing with the, you know, the expense and the trouble of those, that we're gonna put in a um, lithium battery. Uh, specifically, we got a LiPo battery from lithiumhub.com that's made for golf carts, meaning that it has the electronics for controlling the battery charge and things like that inside of the battery. Um, and so our idea here is to take the old batteries out put the new batteries in, and then, you know, see how the golf cart goes. Um, something to kind of keep in mind, this is not a how to change these batteries over, this video is not, it's a how we did it. And as you watch further on, you'll understand what we mean about how this is how we did it. I wouldn't necessarily suggest to anyone that they should do it the way we did. So with that being said, um, we're gonna cut to us taking the old batteries out. Okay, so um, as you saw, we got the new battery in place. We had to clean out the old battery compartment over the years. Corrosion from the lead acid batteries built up and you know, no one had ever really cleaned them. And so once we got that clean, got the new battery in, still have to mount the new battery in its permanent position with a strap or a, of some sort. We plugged in the um, charger and we'd hoped to use the original charger that came with the golf cart, this one here. The only issue with that is, is the old batteries are eight volt times six, which means that you only need like 10, 12 volts to charge them. And the new battery is 48 volts and you need more than 48 volts to charge it. So in my, you know, zeal to save a couple hundred bucks, I didn't buy the charger, which meant I had to go back and buy the charger. So we wound up calling the guys back over at Lithium Hub. They sent me this charger here which we then plugged in to the battery. And the battery was completely dead when we got it. They're not always dead, the, um, the guy at the help desk said, but the hours happened to be. And it took approximately four hours to charge from nothing to full. And once we charged it up, everything worked like a charm. Okay, so the final component in the system was a gauge so that we could monitor how much charge was left on the battery at any given time. Now, the, ba the battery does support a Bluetooth app, but, you know, kind of as we know, apps support kind of comes and goes depending on phone models and things like that, and you have to have your phone. So we just went ahead and splurged for the gauge. Um, didn't film that because it was actually rather easy to install. We just used a drill, drilled a two-inch hole in the, in the dash, mounted the uh, gauge, and ran the cable from the gauge to the battery. It's specific to the battery. And it actually took longer to describe it than it did to do it. So, um, but once we did that, we decided to take, we need to take the card out and see how things are going. So we took it over to the Finmotive development track. And as you can see here, going along and you can see the gauge and you'll notice it has three sections. The um, top section 
is how much um, energy the battery is putting out, you know, like how many volts is it putting out. The middle section is how much charge do you have left. And then the bottom, you'll notice it fluctuates as we go faster and slower. And that's kind of how much energy you're using at any moment in time. So it's a, you know, all in all, a pretty good system. And if you have multiple batteries in your system, this case will work with multiple batteries. We only put one battery in our in our cart because we just you know drive around the garage and that kind of thing. Don't don't really use it a lot. But if you were actually doing this and using your golf cart on like a real golf course for day to day activity, you might go ahead and put two or three of these batteries in to get a more you know to get more range out of them. So, uh, but you know we just stuck with the one like I said, and it seems to work out really well. Okay, so there you have it. That was our attempt at converting the um, lead acid battery powered golf cart into one with a um, lithium battery. Would we do it again? Oh, most definitely. Was it difficult? It was certainly difficult. The lead acid batteries that were removed weighed 60 pounds a piece. So we took um, 360 pounds worth of battery, worth of weight out of the golf cart. Um, the new battery that we installed I know, may have weighed 25 pounds, maybe. So, you know, it's a, it's, the golf cart's much lighter. It rides a little different because of that, but it does last longer, the battery charge does, and which is kind of what we were after. You know, we don't do any heavy golfing. We just, you know, ride around the um, research facilities there and do our thing with that and, you know, take it to a few car shows and that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed what we did. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below. And until next time, so thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again.